I guess uh, in the circumstances, I suppose, uh, having sort of slipped in the last few weeks, Roy, as he, as he says himself, is his harshest critic. Uh, he just felt that he'd, he'd completed his journey here, you know, and he didn't want to get it un unstuck any further and find ourselves in, 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 in a deeper, darker territory. I mean, you know, that's the measure of the guy. Um, you know, it's funny, in situations like this, I'm sure nine times out of ten, the chairman is saying how the manager was trying to keep his job. It was the other way around here. Um, we spent three days trying very hard to see if we could find a solution that way. But, um, you know, when, when, when push came to shove and different things are, 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 are thrown together, I suppose, in the end, it was such an amicable agreement that I, I guess uh, we're comfortable with it. Um, it. It's a tough one and I suppose they're never really that comfortable, I suppose that's probably a bit, a bit too, too bland a word to use. I think we're, it's, a, it's a disappointing day uh, in many respects, but fully respect his decision. And, and of course, once he made the decision, you know, I just said to him, I, I, I know you too well, Roy, to try and overturn it now once he, once he went over that line. And, and, and typical Roy, all he wanted to do then was make sure the staff that he brought here were looked after, you know, uh, talking about the fans. He never once, through all this, spoke about himself or about a settlement or anything like that. I mean, it's... It's just the class of the guy, you know. So he's 